What's up, guys? We're rigging for uh, swordfish now. So we're putting this sleeve with this 250 pound leader. Look at that, heavy duty stuff. And then we gotta crimp it right out here. And you're probably wondering what this little guy is. Oh, we put him over here so he could hide the sleeve and maybe a little bit of swivel and they think that the big bait is chasing the little bait down. You know what I mean? Look how beautiful this bait is. Today is Blondie day. You got it? Blondie. All right, that's it. We're gonna show you how it swims later. Dropping, dropping for swordfish. Um, 1,000, 1,000, and 629 feet to the bottom of the ocean. That's how we do. We're already, uh, we already dropped for swords. We got a rod out there for swords. All right, there's Michael on the rod. It's called Eagle's Eyes. He can tell when we got a bite. He can tell when there's a fit. He, he can tell. This is my boy, Eric. He's on navigation systems. And me, I got nothing else better to do than get on this, put some contents on this video. Oh, okay. So then what we normally do, it's pretty cool. We have this thing called uh, a guava and cheese pastelito. That's a Cuban thing. Okay, guava and cheese in it. Awesome. And then we accompany the guava and cheese with with uh, cafe con leche, which is actually, in other words, latte. Your milk, your espresso, and very minimum sugar, please. I'm trying to keep it healthy. Anyways, so this is what we're doing. Cheers. We're out. Talk to you guys back when we get some fish on. It's gonna be a good video. Don't miss out. We're out. Guys, come in, Eric. Guys, I gotta catch my breath. We are so excited. You excited, Eric? Yes, sir. We are so excited. I'm excited. We're excited. We're so excited. <laughs> we got a swordfish on, buddy, and it's dragged us over a mile already. And we got a swordfish on. Watch this. How rude. This swordfish decides to bite when I was eating my pastelito. Yeah, Mike. How's that? You're eating pastelito, no mining. You're not messing with nobody. And this swordfish is so rude. Trying to, trying to, you know, I, I don't know what to say. Anyways, we're hooked up, and I believe, with a big swordfish, guys. With a big swordfish. So, back to us. Major's fingers crossed, guys. Come on, help us out here. When we... We can't say nothing about this fish, about bringing him in and having dinner tonight because it's bad luck. But um, may the force be with us. And thanks, for you guys, for your supports. Wow. Guys, guys, no joke. This sword fishing thing, it's a roller coaster of emotions. What do you have to say, Mike? No, my, like, my, Mike is like, feel my heart. Feel my heart. Oh, <laughs> I thought the engine was running. No, it's Michael's heart. He is so excited because... This fish was taking line down to the bottom, and it got snagged on the bottom. It got snagged on the rocks for half an hour. This fish was anchored on the bottom of the ocean at 1,800 feet of water, anchored. And it, for the God, for the grace of God, we were able to pull the pull the fish out of the snag. What swordfish does that? This fish is so smart. Plus, I guarantee you, 300 pounds plus. This fish has been hooked before. That's ridiculous. You know, what do you have to say, mate? What do you have to say, Eric? It's great. It, this, is, this is going crazy. This is going crazy. Roller coaster of emotions is what this sword fishing is all about. What's up, Mike? What are you doing? Manual? Right here. Manual? Manual right now. Nice. Big ass swordfish. At least 300 pounds. And he's over here doing manual labors.
Look at that. She burnt yeah. up my hands and everything. Look at those gloves. Those gloves are brand new. Or brand new gloves. Look how they are now. They're they're toast. All by hand. Look at that. No wires. No connections. No nothing. Just manual labors. You know what I mean? Mike, you're working here more than you do at work. I know, right? Exactly. I should get a raise here. You got to put those muscles to the test now. Beast against beast. Beast against the beast. Gorgeous, gorgeous creature. I can touch him. Dress your chair. There's a tail on her. Woo. I can touch her. gonna release the shark now guys we just released a 350 pound thresher shark amazing amazing experience this is better than catching a swordfish for us that's a uh, one one very unique creature of God in that ocean right there the tail is as long as the shark and whoever just go up and look up a look up thresher shark it's amazing 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 what a great experience Wow. So we found this tree out here floating in the middle of the ocean. And we picked up a... Uh, oh. We got... We got mahis on. We already got a couple of mahis. Look at that. Nice. I'm out. What's up, guys? As I was saying before today, for the theme, if it's worth doing... It's worth doing right or worth doing well. Perfectly good example. Oh, watch this mahi right here. Oh, have a... Look at this mahi right here. Mahi right here. Woo! Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go, buddy. You ready? That nice ass mahi. Oh, boom. Look at that nice ass mahi. Boom. Woo! There you go. That's what we're talking about. Okay. So this mahi was 19 inches. Supposed to be 20. So we're going to revive him now. Set him off to the ocean. So he can get bigger. Oh, uh... Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't mean to... Yeah, look at this one. Okay, okay, there you go, going. there you go, there you go, okay. Yeah. All right, awesome. Catch. What's up, Mike? What's up? So we're out here heading back from catching uh, and releasing this uh, treasure shark. So we find this uh, jug, big old, like, five-gallon jug flown out here in the mud of the ocean. But it doesn't belong out here because eventually... It's going to sink down to the bottom of the ocean, you know, and it's going to create microplastics. And that's what Michael's doing. He's picking it up out of the ocean because it don't belong here. How about that? You know, thanks, Mike. Good job. All right. Well.
we went out sword fishing for mahi. We got one mahi and we had a big old thresher shark, like 350 pounds. That was more impressive and amazing than catching a swordfish. A thresher shark is amazing creatures. I want you guys to look it up on Google about thresher sharks. We respect sharkies. We release sharkies. We don't eat and catch sharkies. No, because they're part of the ecosystem. So we have to talk about conservation and keep up with with what we got so that our children's children can go out and catch some fish and eat some fresh fish too. Anyways, Eric, you got anything to say? Nothing better than this. Eric says from the sea to the plate. Mike? No, I'm hungry. Hungry as hell. All right, guys. Peace out.